What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking Ed's Tesla Model 3 on autopilot to a local mall here. But once we get there, we're gonna try and summon the car in a crowded parking lot and see how it turns out. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna be doing a little bit of research and development, if you will. We're going to a local mall here. Um, so the idea is to um, autopilot all the way over there, assisted autopilot. And then once we get there, we're gonna test out the summon feature. I know it's been a little bit sketchy and shoddy in the past, but we're gonna try and see what happens. Let's go ahead and FSD over there. And uh, per our last video, I know some people said that we didn't turn on the auto um, speed. That's right, yeah. And uh, this is on, it's on auto speed. You guys can see everything. So we're good. Um, and we're gonna bring you guys a city video very, very soon. So just stay tuned for that. Right now we just wanna test it out on a local road. Something that we drive every single day. Exactly. If you think about it. So um, I've lived with this for what? had it for two weeks now uh, a couple of weeks yeah and i've actually been using it a lot me too me too actually sometimes it like feels like a gimmick like i don't need it but then sometimes i'm like i want to use it <laughs> no i enjoy it i like it i don't know if i'd pay for it but i definitely use it now that it's complimentary for a month so. oh i would definitely not pay twelve thousand right? dollars for it would you pay the uh, let's say if you didn't have an enhanced autopilot would you pay the 199 I'd pay one in you know, a month. Yeah, for like a couple months. A couple months, yeah, just to just to try it out, use it, play with it, but I would not keep it long term. No, I think it's useless. I honestly find the benefit of like regular autopilot as pretty sufficient. Like, I think so. But you heard the announcement about the robo taxi coming uh, August eighth. I don't think that's what. Like, I love Elon. I'm an <laughs> Elon stan. But it's. I think it's gonna be exactly the same thing as like the Cybertruck. You think so? Yeah, they announce it, and then five years later it comes out, or four years. Don't don't get me in the comments. But it's like, <laughs> what I'm trying to say, it's like a prolonged period of time, which is fair. But I guess we'll see. Because I heard people saying that they're coming out with a new vehicle, like a new, like a Model yeah. Two or something. Yep. Whereas I thought it'd just be like a software thing that we can implement in our vehicles, like we just download it or upgrade our car, and then it. Can become a robo taxi so i wonder oh it's not it's not going to be like installed in all the i don't vehicles? know oh, okay that's what i heard it's gonna be like a new car like a model 2 or mm -hmm. whatever it is so something that i actually noticed that's kind of annoying but it follows the rules um is the stop signs what is which it? it's good it's supposed to you're supposed to fully stop but i feel like fsd is supposed to mimic real driving and like you st it like fully stops for about like five seconds that yeah. I've noticed instead of like one second stop and then go yeah, yeah. and I think that it that's kind of unnatural no one really does that it is but it is a stop sign I guess so it's, it's a little technical there but but, but I just like I, I know, know what you mean though it's not it doesn't feel right you pause there for like five seconds like you said it's kind of weird but also it's making mistakes like um, we have this one road that is split into three different roads all in one the middle lane is like moving forward and then the other two lanes are going this way okay. and um, you have to exit out of and go into the last lane to take a left okay. and it just completely did not know what to do really? which is it's fair like I think a normal person first time driving wouldn't know what to do but it completely just like stopped working wow. until I press on the gas or Accelerator. Accelerator, <laughs> and then it went, but huh. it's definitely not perfect, but it's better than the original. Oh, that's for sure, yeah. So, um, I think it's like, it's pretty solid. One thing that somebody noted in our last video is, they were having trouble with the no turn on red. Do you think it reads the sign, or is it just like satellite base, like, like it knows to go 40 miles an hour here because the GPS tells it to, or does it read 40 miles an hour on the actual sign right there? So like when it comes to a no turn on red, does it know that that's there? Or will it just go? Um, so I actually looked this up because I thought about that. Okay. Um, it does not, the only thing it reads is um, uh, speed limits okay. and like another sign. It does not read no turn on red. Really? Yeah, it does so not. So it'll, it'll, it'll just turn? Yes. Oh man. Yes. I haven't, the thing is, I've tried, so every single time that it was turning on a red, yeah. um, it allowed me to, like the street signs. Yeah. I've never been at a light that said no turn on red and it didn't turn. Nice. So I haven't really tried it out yet. Okay. But I looked it up. Right. 
Mm -hmm. Pay attention if we come across one, we'll see what happens. Yeah. It's pretty, honestly, once it, once it turns, like on red or anything, it's pretty smooth. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It creeps up, and then it just pulls forward as yeah. soon as it goes, so I actually appreciate that. Um, but I would, I'm, I'm good with regular autopilot. Yeah, Seriously. yeah, I agree. I found it kind of annoying on the highway sometimes. With the speeds and stuff? Yeah. One thing that I noticed, though, is like the, like these turns right now, it'll accelerate hard. Like the other day when it was raining, I tried it. I actually got wheel spin. Like, really? <laughs> yeah, which was cool. Wow, that was not, that was not smooth. And there's a car <laughs> behind us. You guys can't really see it. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. pretty close. Uh, but yeah, the accelerations are are pretty brutal yeah. out, of the, out of the gates. So. And I think you can, obviously, like, there's a setting for that to do uh, a certain or regular and calm. Yeah. But I really don't see a reason why not to keep it on assertive. Yeah. I feel like it would just tweak out even more if you didn't do that. Maybe. But that's just like my point of view on it. But I'm honestly really, really impressed. It's 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 way smoother than like the previous one, which for sure. I think that's really good. You know what I was thinking? Does it take more battery to like operate all these like vehicles and everything? Like if you're low on like ten percent, yeah. would it even allow FSD? That's actually a good point. I don't know if it'll allow it. Because I was thinking about that. I was like, should I conserve like that, the battery on that? <laughs> that could make for a good video, actually. Let's see what happens if you tell it to get to a destination on autopilot and the battery dies. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I was saying. You should have tried it because you were like pretty low yeah, a couple like, weeks ago. That was close. Yeah. Uh, side note, I spotted two cyber trucks in this area. Yeah. So just the heads up they are a thing they're happening so it's pretty sick if any subscriber or any viewer has a cyber truck and you want us to review it we'll give you a big yes. shout out um that's like our next goal let us to get know that would be sick yeah there's something in the mix we're trying to work on something but um the more subscribers the more likes we get the more viewers uh it definitely helps the channel so if anyone that would be awesome uh, exactly. and on that note make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button and subscribe yeah we're gonna be getting a lot more cars but in order for us to do bigger and better cars we need the following so yeah. make sure you guys hit the subscribe button it really helps us so and we have a special surprise for you guys very soon we're um I'm kind excited. Of, yeah. I'm excited. yeah 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 i'm actually really excited we're should we say like should we partner let's say do us no let's wait let's okay wait. all right we're not gonna it's coming it. soon though it's coming very soon, soon. <laughs> Maybe in the next couple of videos, you guys will figure something out. But um, we're excited. Thank you guys to everything. But um, but yeah, talking about the drive, it's done pretty well. It's, I haven't, it's perfect. I haven't intervened at all. Yeah. Um, you see everything. But you know what's crazy that I, f I feel like? People do not understand the technology that they have in their Teslas. Oh, yeah, I agree. Literally, I, I, I really do not think, like, like, my parents would not know how to operate this. No. I think Tesla might have to do like a better job, unless it's very niche. Like they're not; it's not meant for the mass. I guess, public. but I feel like their whole thing like is word of mouth and like I tell you, you tell him type of thing. Because just until recently, I haven't seen any Tesla commercials. Now they're starting to pop up like on YouTube and stuff. Yeah, that's true. But before then, I haven't seen anything. So, so. One thing that I actually notice when autopilot's about to like complete is it just goes wherever it wants. Like for example, like my house, I set it to my house, it just zooms past my house. Really? And once you press the accelerator butter button or you try to disengage it, it prompts you saying like what happened? Autopilot disengaged, did something happen? Yeah. There's no way just to turn it off without it. Maybe that's just like their feature, but which just seems like a silly problem. Like you should be able to fix that you get through an address, there. you just stop. Yeah. Like, right now, I don't know what it's doing. Like... Yeah, we're at the mall. Like, where's it? And it's giving a signal. See, now it's, like, turning back. It's trying to take a left. But then on here, it says right. So, uh -huh. it's tweaking out. I might disengage it very, very... Pretty soon. We want to find a good place that is kind of difficult. For the summon, right? Yeah, for the summon. Let's um, try it. All right, so we made it to the mall. As you can see, it's a pretty busy time at the mall right now. The Model 3 is like right over there, kind of right next to those people, which is pretty sketchy. But uh, what do you think, Ed? Dude, I don't trust this thing at all. <laughs> Last time I was in a Myers, and I tried doing this, and I almost hit another car. Really? So don't trust this at all. I actually tried it at this exact mall uh, with my Model 3, and uh, we almost hit my wife's Model X. So could have went terribly wrong, but... Uh, 
Let's is, see how it goes. It's this is what we do for the viewers, so That's you right. guys better appreciate it. That's right. Okay. Ready? Let's see. Come pick us up. Okay, go to Target. You see oh. it right there? Hold on. It's not picking me up. Oh, sorry. I have to put it to me. Okay. Ready? Oh, why is it going straight, Ooh. dude? Yo, that went straight, dude. Why? <laughs> Yo, hold I'm on. telling you, I don't trust What? This Did you see it pull up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It went straight. What? Okay, let's stand a little bit closer. I mean, come on, dude. That's like a... Dude, it would have nailed that cat you know here. It might do. Like, go straight, adjust, and then go back. That's my only, like, thing. But there's a car literally right in front of it. Yeah, look at that. Hold on. Oh, dude, wait. Look at this. Oh, look. Where was it going? I don't know. You want to stand here? Yeah, yeah all right. Uh, all right, go. There's another Model 3. I like those pillows. What do you guys think? Should we get some? All right, so headlights came on. There we go. Oh. All right. It's like rocking back and forth. All right, Ed's all the way over there. This thing's been pretty good so far. Dude, that was pretty good. Go, 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 go. Nice and slow. There we go. Oh. It's struggling a bit, but it's doing it. Look at this. Look at the wheel moving by itself. How weird is that? There it goes. There it goes. Gave a signal, turned. All right, what do we think? Dude, this is the worst feature. It's cool, it's a good party trick. The worst feature, bro. I agree. Like, it's the sketchiest thing in the world. Like, this is, this is it literally part of I agree, just dumped it like this, guys. I would give that a C. Dude, I would give it, they should not roll this out. Like, <laughs> it's pretty reckless, dude. It is wild, but they even What did you up? think? You were like, yeah, like, it pulled out pretty fine. It did pretty good. Overall, it did pretty good. Um, but the whole concept of it is sketchy. It's tweaked out way too many times. I would not actually use it in real life. Um, like the car is literally in the middle of the road. Yeah, this might be a problem right now. There's cars coming. <laughs> Should I move it? Yeah, okay. Let's go. All right, let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What's your experience been with the summon feature? For us, it's been a big no-no. Um, hopefully they fix it because it's a pretty cool concept, but I don't know. We'll see.